Hello, I'm Gordon Rickson. I teach systematic theology at Regis College in the Toronto School of Theology. Thank you for the opportunity to share some brief thoughts about how I've drawn on Lonergan's work to promote a faith that does justice and appreciates beauty and specifically addresses issues of systemic racism. Of course, like any significant thinker, those who interpret, develop, and implement Lonergan's thought take different approaches to reading his corpus. I read Lonergan through his relation to Ignatian spirituality, which I appreciate as pointing to the source and summit of his concern for nurturing the appropriation and development of human agency and participating in a providential project that is beyond the scope of any one language, culture, or religious discourse to comprehend fully and implement. Let me parse out the relation between Lonergan's treatment of agency and providence with Ignatian spirituality and its implication for addressing systemic injustice and conclude by identifying one direction for continued development. I think it would be fair to say that the transcendental imperatives address the performative core activities of Lonergan's treatment of agency. I find it helpful to note that these activities are disposed activities and relate them to the foundational exercise in the Ignatian exercises. When Lonergan proposes that we are called to be attentive, intelligent, critical, deliberative, and loving, I think we should recall Ignatius's proposal that we be grateful as we acknowledge our finite creaturehood, that we be free in the use of our gifts and talents in a providential project, and that we be committed in praise, reverence, and service of God and neighbor. There is an integrating aesthetic insight here. We discover the fullness of our humanity when we are committed to a project much larger than ourselves. Clarity about the value of each particular language, culture, and religious discourse becomes radiant as its relation to the integrity of the transcendent project becomes transparent. This simple insight, I think, is the basis of a strong pushback against the global monoculture of neocolonialism, the consumerism of the technological paradigm, and the failure of the sovereign state system established by the 17th century Treaty of Westphalia. A pushback that I think can be brought into a constructive exchange with the contributions of contemporary social theory, including recognition theory, distribution theory, abnormal justice theory, cultural resurgence theory, and vulnerability theory. Lonergan, I think, was very good about observing the presupposition of the spiritual exercises. That is, to put the best possible interpretation on the statement of the neighbor, before moving on to ask questions and working together to draw good from the positions offered. If we appropriate our agency and encourage others in the fullness exercise of their agency within the context of a providential project, I think we will discover the affect of freedom, the intellectual flexibility, and the religious commitment required to join Father Lonergan in making substantial contributions to the promotion of justice and the appreciation of beauty. Contributions that will respect and support the agency and participation of those most marginalized and misrecognized in our societies.